to Mrs. Morrison's Kitchen Diaries. How are you doing today? We are going to talk all about... How amazing I am as a husband. No? Nope. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh! Don't worry about it. Keep going. Today we're going to talk all about love. I feel like, um, I feel like... Love. Yeah, but I feel like the way I'm dressed, it's a bit like street. No, baby, it's not Yeah, street. like, because this is like a graffiti-ish. Okay. And then I got plaits and big hoops. And that makes you yeah, street. Yeah, I'm street. Really? I'm really sorry, people. I know you're probably thinking, what is she on about? She don't look street. She is a country bumpkin. Yeah. Oh, she was raised... I thought I was going to hit you. I did actually feel... I was bracing myself. Embattled. I was getting myself ready for it to go... But she is actually... I mean, the thing is, to, to all of our non-Europeans out there, you may think, oh, London's a lovely place. It's, you know, where Big Ben is and the House of Pop. I'll explain that in a minute. You can yeah, you're going to need to. Where the House of Parliament are. <laughs> but there are some rough areas in London. And unfortunately, I was raised in one of them. But I got out of the ghetto and I moved out to Berkshire. Berkshire. Yeah, when I met this one. And so now I live in the country. I'm now a country bumpkin as well. But she has always been a country bumpkin. So in her head, big hoops, hair like that, and a t-shirt with a bit of graffiti, and now she's street. The street. Yeah, no, In you're, it. You're not street. Yeah, blood. But anyway, she did say that she talked about love. Right, and that is because I love my awesome husband. Obviously. But actually, it's because we're going to a wedding this weekend. Yay! Very close to our heart. My my little cousin. My little cousin. She's grown up. She's getting married. She ain't little no more. She's a big woman now. She ain't little no more. She's getting married. Um, and so, yeah, I've like kind of been helping out and giving her my tips, my words of wisdom. Yeah. And it's coming up this Saturday. It's tomorrow. When you see this video, it'll be tomorrow. Yeah. And I just, I'm really excited. And I know it's just going to remind me and Johnny of when we got married. Yeah, all that stress. Seven months ago, nearly. All that stress. It was very stressful. But it was a really good day. But I'm talking about all the lovely stuff. Oh, obviously. So I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to um, the wedding cake. Because you didn't get any of us. Because I didn't get a single bite of my own wedding cake. Can you believe it? <laughs> all you people out there that got married, uh, did you get a bite of your own wedding cake because it's amazing that I got married and did not even get a bite not even one little slice not even a bit of the icing not any bit of what was what kind of cake was it we had a Victoria sponge oh a sponge and cake. it was See, covered in like I need oh, icing no. like icing sugar stuff I like frosting it was like all like not perfect yeah. it was kind of that messy like lifted kind of right and then it had berries all day. It, was like, it, it was good it was really good from the from looking on looking at it and there's a lot some lovely photos that we got of the cake there's one photo in particular where um we were cutting it and as we were cutting the cake it started to slightly capsize and someone captured a picture of me going <gasps> Uh, it was really funny, and I, I just loved that photo because you can see my face. Where I'm like, oh no! And then it sort of went, doom, 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 doom. and I thought, <laughs> yeah! It didn't go, Wah! yeah, so that was fun. So we're looking forward to that on Saturday. That's going to be fun. Yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be good. I'm going to be boogieing down. I'm going to show all those youngsters how to boogie and dance. Yeah? That's right. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought, oh, you, were yeah. Gonna, I, I thought you were saying no, I wasn't going to. I thought to I was going to argue with you. Yeah, I did, but you didn't. So Tonight is all about the love. Oh, okay, no, it's all about how awesome we are, right? No? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. It's about the awesome love. So, people, I've got a question for you. Awesome love. Can I, can I ask them a question? Yeah. Have you been doing the 10 year photo? Yes, like, I have. You haven't done it yet. You haven't asked me a question. You haven't and done no, it. I, I, I did the 10 year challenge. And I was just, I looked pretty much the same, but you just a yeah, lot There was no skinnier. difference. There was yeah. no, you were not a lot skinny. There was no difference. Yeah, no, you. literally. Look at my arms. They're horrible now. Like, oh, but uh, it's embarrassing. Let me just stand like this. But my 10 year one, like my arms, no, I wouldn't have any problems with them being in the camera. They were skinnier, not skinny, but they Listen, were just nice. I haven't done it yet because I'm thinking of doing it slightly different okay. and doing a 10 year photo in the future. That's not the challenge. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's my challenge. What do you think? 
Go for it. Oh, yes. How are you going to get a 10 year future picture? Because. It's going to go on an app and make yourself look really Yeah. Old. And just add a few age. Anyway, I haven't done the 10 year challenge, but have you done it? And were you surprised at the change from, you know, 2009 to 2019? Or did you do it last year with the 2008 to 2018? Which way did you do it? Either way, have you put on a few pounds? Has there been a few love handles? Has there been a little bit of a, you know, all pack going on? Have you changed a lot? Have you lost your hair? Because the funny thing about it was, 10 years ago, I was still bored. I still had no hair <laughs> 10 years ago. So actually, it's not like I'm going to be like, you know that some people have their hairline here, and slowly as they get older, the hairline goes to hair, and they shave it off. Well, 10 years ago, I was still bald. So actually, in my photos, I look absolutely the same. Is that why you haven't done it? Yeah, I because... think you should do it because it's funny. Yeah, but it's just what? Like... Two, two photos would be like that. Yeah. And another one, 10 years later. Yeah. <laughs> a baby. You don't understand, there's no difference. Oh, yeah, maybe I've got a little bit more, you know, well, I've put on a few pounds. I have put on a few pounds. But then, to be honest with you, I was still this kind of size 10 years ago, so... I could do it, but your photo, there's no difference. You look exactly the same, baby. So I'm quite impressed with that. Aww. So, uh, what other challenges are there at the moment? Is there another one? On you is there another um, challenge on Facebook? No. No? Okay. I don't think so. No, okay, fair enough. I'm not really down with the social media stuff, innit? Why did you just say Because I'm street! <sighs> You're not street, babe. You're just I you. Standing there. But, either way, a few weeks ago... If you remember, if you tuned in, I said to you, I've got a new job. At the time, I couldn't tell you what the new job was because I was still in my existing job. And I thought to myself, I better not say anything out of respect for the people I work with. But now I have left that job. I can now tell you the job that I am doing right now. And you're never going to believe it. I now work in water management. Mm-hmm. Isn't that awesome, people? Yeah, see, I can hear you going, yeah! Is that why you told me off for kicking the ice across the floor? Yes, well, no, I kicked it because I thought it might not be ice. It might have been a little bit of the sleet, no. and then you get ants. Oh, no. So, basically, the situ, so I... situ, we can talk about your water thing in a second, no. but the situ with this is basically, I wanted an ice lolly because I'm really hot, and when I opened the packet... There was loads of ice on the side of the lolly, which I didn't know about. It all just flung everywhere, and then there was just ice on the floor. And now, you just think went, that a normal Whoosh. person would get a tissue. Yeah, and I was like, just get water, a tissue, that's fine. Go on the floor, and pick it up. No, what she do? She kicks it under the cooker. Needed a clean. Can't get under the cooker. <laughs> and you know, in most that, relationships, it's the man that's the messy one. It's the man. No, it's me. In I'm this relationship, real. this one here, no regard. Even now. No, I'm not spilling anything now. But the reason I've got it in here is because, let's see, it's dripping very easily. Because there's still so much ice on it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. But look, and I was worried it was going to fall off still, so right, okay. I am having an ice lolly in a bowl. Right, okay. Anyway, my husband works for water. What did you call it? Water? Water management. Water management. See, that sounds very, very plush. He manages water. Water management is very, very important. But actually, I'm slightly not telling the whole truth. So even though it's water management, it's not the water that comes out of a tap. It's the water that comes out of humans. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> because I work for Thames Water. Lovely. I'm so excited. But more importantly, I work in sewage. Can I get an amen? All right. Yes, I have now left my previous job to go into this job to start working with fatbergs and blocked drains. With what? At, with fatbergs. Fatbergs? Yeah. But you said fatbergs. <laughs> I was like, what? I'm not rude. I'm a gentleman. I would never call a fat woman a fat bird. You know, so I'm working now, getting ri helping you, the person out there who's got a blocked drain. I come in and I uh, clear the drainage. So... People, can you believe it? All oh, right, is that not an awesome job? Is that not amazing? Are you not going, yeah, hooray for Johnny? Yeah, you're looking very tall right now. Thanks. Right, so that's my news. I told you now. There you go. No, I've got nothing, I've got oh. nothing there. 
I'm, um, I'm out. I'm completely finished. Also, do you like the T-shirt I bought my husband? It says, this is what an awesome husband looks like. Well, I want to do it. Go on then. Put yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, right? but put them on the actual. What, like that? Yeah. So, does anyone else's husband have a t shirt like this? Or boyfriend, like you can get this is what an awesome boyfriend looks like or whatever? Anyone else? Do you no, I am the only human being in the no, entire world. Not in the world. <laughs> that has out this of, I'm talking about out of my viewers. Okay. And do they wear it out of the house? Will you wear that out of the house? Obviously. Oh, well. Not. <laughs> I will only well because obviously it's a little it's a little bit showy, isn't it? Because obviously it that, is a bit that's like, me. Look that's at me, me, I'm brilliant. Yeah, that's me saying. I mean, and unless you accept that I am an awesome husband and tell everybody such things, I can wear it. But if you could go, oh, he's lying, then <laughs> yeah, it might not be. But how do you feel? Um, but I wear it. I have no problem. With it. I'm wearing it now. Am I not? <laughs> yes. You are wearing it Actually, now. Actually, when we do our thumbs, when we do our, when we do our photo, it's got to be like that. Do you want me to put the thumbs in so it's like, it's like you know, like it's like my hands have died and they're doing. And you've got the thing yeah. around them. <laughs> the body chalk. Yes. For my and thumbs. I'll be like. Love. Blood, like that. No. Oh. Why do you keep doing this, babe? You're not straight. You're just from Berkshire. You're a Berkshire. You're a Berkshire girl. You're just from the countryside. You're a bumpkin. You're not road. Bumpkin. Yeah. You don't like Gran. You don't listen to Drill. You don't even know who Wiley is. I know who Wiley is. Who is he? That's when I start from it's a world to a brand new girl. I don't even know yet. Next thing she's wearing my Rolex. Woo she needs another name. Okay, fair enough. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That doesn't make oh, you yeah. street. But I know who Wiley is and uh, you didn't think I did. I didn't, I must admit. <laughs> I didn't think you would know who that was. Alright, okay, fair enough, fine. So she knows that, but that don't make you road. That just, that just means that you know someone in the charts. Yeah, but why would you ask me that? Oh, <laughs> oh that was so bad. Oh. <laughs> right, listen to this, right? When I came in from work today, mm. I worked with a guy, his name's Kane, and uh, he was sick today. And what did you say? Was... I said, oh, Kane was not able to work. Oh. <laughs> And it was so poor that I literally was like, I actually walked out of the bathroom because, yeah, baby, don't do that. I actually walked out of the bathroom because it was so embarrassing. I actually thought. He did. I was like, oi, come back and talk to me. Yeah. I was laughing for ages. I, that really tickled me. Yeah. Kane wasn't able to work. It was funny. Yeah. I'm a funny girl sometimes. No, yeah, you, can, you are funny, yeah. Definitely funny. Right, anyway, I don't think it's going to be a long video today because I've got nothing left. And, it was uh, quite late as well. We've left it late. really yeah, late exactly. and we're hot. Yeah. We just want to chill out and all on sea. Yeah. We haven't stopped since we both got back from work. No. And we just need to put our feet up and just watch some TV. Chill out, and chill out, out. Yeah. Exactly. So, so I mean, I'm going to just sort of put this video together. Yeah, exactly. No editing required, but I still need to, you know, do the processing and the thumbnail. So I'm still going to be up for a while. But I'm not. on the whole, TV is going to be on in the background. Cool. I slowly will be demolished. Nice. And, uh, yeah, we will yeah. be chilling. So, people, we'll chilling. thank you very much for tuning in. As always... Chilling for chilling in. Chilling for tuning in. As always, I hope you have a good week, a good weekend. I hope that you uh, stay safe, that you enjoy your lives, whatever you're doing. Please, obviously, continue to subscribe to us. Continue to keep tuning in. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Comments. Engage. Check out her... Instagram page yep. mrsmorrison.xo I will link it I'll like write it up here somewhere yeah well done <laughs> and engage Thanks. and obviously see you on the other side stay channeled boom see you later take care people have a good weekend and good week see you next week just wave just wave <laughs>